So we recently hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube and because of this I wanted to do something a little special. So that's what we're gonna do. When I first started making YouTube videos, I was a bit hesitant to tell people about it. I'm not sure exactly why, for some reason it was embarrassing. I guess it still kind of is, just making videos of yourself and putting them online. Seems kind of weird to me, but at the same time I guess it's fun. But anyways, when I did start telling people, to my surprise I found a lot of support with friends and family. And one of those people was one of the first subscribers to the YouTube channel, and they also just they would entertain me every time I'd talk about my stupid video ideas and things I wanted to try. And this person is my friend Hiram. So Hiram also happens to be my brother-in-law. So good job, Mary. <laughs> but r about a couple years ago, we built him a budget PC, similar to a lot of the ones that we have on the channel currently. Just an office computer with some upgrades uh, that played games pretty well. But it has current recently hit the limit of what he needs and he's been asking about upgrading it for a few months now and back in December I told him that just the market for like used parts or any parts for that matter weren't the best and so it'd probably be good to wait a few months to see uh, what prices were like later and maybe we could save a bit of money by doing that but here we are a couple months later and it is kind of worse uh, availability and pricing for PC parts is still kind of terrible in the current market with things like mining and uh, shortages and COVID and all that kind of stuff just combined together making it maybe not the best time to buy a PC uh, there's just a lot of demand for it and uh, not as much stock as maybe we all want but anyways I've been collecting parts over the last year or so just every time I see a deal, I'll pick it up. And because of that, I have some parts that I think would work well for an upgrade for him. And so I think in celebration of hitting a thousand subscribers, we're going to use those parts to give him an upgrade. There's a little twist though. He doesn't know that we're doing this. So I asked him last week if it'd be okay if I made a video on his computer, not on his computer, but about his computer. And he agreed. So what we're going to do is go steal his computer and then bring him back the upgraded one so hopefully it will work for his needs um and yeah i just want to thank you all for um subscribing to the channel and uh for the support it means a lot and everyone from like friends and people that i talk to about it personally to people that subscribe and we've had conversations about different builds and and different um computers it really all means a lot and it's been really fun so hopefully this will be a fun video for you guys to watch. Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's good. Yeah? Hey, hi, Ben. Hey, hi, Ben. Hi, baby. Did she say she anything? Oh. <laughs> no, but she meant hello when I first answered. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. I was gonna see if you guys are uh, free for me to come over, like, probably like right now. Yep. We are golden. Okay, sounds good. Are you okay if I like uh, film a little bit? Uh, no, it's fine. Go for it. Okay, sounds good. Cool. I'll see you in a sec then. Awesome. See ya. Okay. See ya. Okay, so we're driving over there now. Uh, it's a little rainy, but that's okay. I am trying to decide what we're going to do with this stolen computer. What I kind of been thinking is just posting a listing to give it away. Well, not necessarily like a oh, posting for a free computer, but post a listing for like a budget gaming PC, and then whoever wants it, they'll obviously message us for it. And then instead of having them pay for it, I'll just give it away. Um, or do something like that. Another thought is maybe we sell his old computer and the money that we get from it we just give back to them and he can use that for future upgrades. So we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm an indecisive person and decisions like this make it hard because I'm like oh what if something goes wrong? So yeah, we'll see what happens I guess. As soon as I pulled out the camera, I pulled out of the camera, I was like, oh, what's this? 
<laughs> Technology. That's probably. It's gonna happen anyway. Okay, so here's the computer that Hiram has been using. We built this yeah you know, a couple years ago, like I said previously. It has a Core i5 2500 in it with um, RAM that we used from his old laptop, and then we found a GTX 970. Um, and power supply to add to it. So it honestly works pretty well still for like esports titles and things like that. Uh, but for some of the things that he wants to do and some of the games that he wants to play, the CPU is a little bit limiting. And so that's like the main thing that we wanted to make sure that we upgraded. But hopefully I have a few GPUs. Um, I'm trying to decide which one, honestly. Uh, I think I'll probably talk to him about it just because there's some quirks about each of them and uh, I just want to make sure that he I guess gets what he wants um, or what will work best for his situation so yeah so that's this computer uh, it was really fun to build back in the day and I think we got like the tower for 15 bucks which was really exciting to me then we got the um, I think we spent $150 overall to upgrade this from his laptop so that included like the tower, we got the GTX 970, and then upgraded the CPU to that i5-2500 from this Helleron that was in this tower previously. And then I think we also need to upgrade the power supply in order to run the GTX 970. So yeah, it's gotten some really good use, and it was one of the earlier computers that I built when I started building computers, and or put together, um, and yeah, it was really fun. There's some beautiful stickers on it as well. Uh, nice design, you guys. I love it. <laughs> I won't have it any other way. So, uh, this is what the inside of the computer looks like currently. So I got this. Like I said, we have the uh, GTX 970. I have an i5 2500. The RAM that we stole from the laptop. And then we have this uh, SFX power supply. Yeah, I, I guess it has a little bit of sentimental value uh, just because of the time that we spent building it and finding parts and because of, I guess, the timing. And when I started getting into building computers, this was one of the first successes, I guess you could say. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, I think it still uh, plays games pretty well uh, as far as uh, budget and esports titles. So it's pretty similar to things that we build on this channel for cheap. And I think that's the point of it, right? It's, it's something that's cheap uh, that can kind of get you into gaming. But um, yeah, sometimes you need a little bit more power. So hopefully uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get into building that computer. Um, actually, I've already built it. But <laughs> we're going to do a quick time lapse uh, building it. And... Yeah, I'll explain the parts. So the parts that we're going to use for the upgrade are the following. An ASUS Prime B450M-A motherboard, a Ryzen 5 2600, 16 gigs of DDR4 RIPJAWS 5 RAM, which is clocked at 3200 MHz. So hopefully that will help the Ryzen chip run well. For the GPU, we will be using an RX 580 or a GTX 980. We will also be reusing his SSD for the boot drive. For the case, I was able to find a Cooler Master Masterbox MB320L used for a pretty good deal. And also, I will mention that the motherboard had some audio issues with the onboard audio. So I bought a sound card that's coming in a week or so. So we're going to put that in when once it gets here.
I'm just finishing up some testing and benchmarking and things are looking good. I think it's working uh, how it should be. So I guess if there's any issues, we will address those when they come up. But yeah, it looks good. Uh, probably gonna get ready to take this over to Hiram's here pretty soon. Okay, so like I said, I think things are almost ready to go. I did switch out the GPU. So there's a uh, GTX 980 in there now. Um, so that's pretty similar in performance to the RX 580. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to ask Hiram which one he'd prefer. Um, there's just some differences with some of them. Um, and so I guess whatever, whatever he thinks will suit his needs the best, we can switch that out for him. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up. You can see that there's wires everywhere and stuff. So I'll do a little bit of cable management and we're going to head over there. Okay, so I think that uh, the computer is good to go. Uh, hopefully it'll be a nice upgrade for Hiram. Okay, let's go ahead and head over there. <laughs> well, Hiram, I want to surprise you. <gasps> oh, you got a new case? I got your new case, but I also upgraded the processor. Yeah, so, oh. this is a, it's a Ryzen 5 2600. Oh. So, 6 Just cores, 12 threads. 12 freaking threads? Yeah, and then I... Where's the sticker? They're right here. Oh, thank you for keeping okay. those. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to put them on the uh, outside the case. No offense. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> but I was like, maybe there's some sentimental value. There, there is. So, thank you for keeping uh, them. I, I, I mean, I, some of them are trash. I kept all of them, but the voting one because I tried to rip that off and it didn't work. That one was. So I was like, that probably doesn't have as much sentimental value as the other one. But maybe I don't. I don't know. I mean, this election more than others, but. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We can plug it in a USB key if you want. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's gonna, I guess, be oriented a little differently. <laughs> it's got RGB. <laughs> 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 <laughs
You want to see the fan, baby? <laughs> If you don't like that also, <laughs> you, you can turn it off or put a different fan in there. I um, like it. That's probably. Cool. That is cool. I thought I would have added it. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Some people are like, zero RGB is better than any. Uh-huh. Oh, fun! Oh, fun! Whoa. <laughs> Let's can fix that. Awesome. Is that a fan? Ooh. It's on ultra and everything's running at 60 frames per second. Flying around in the air somewhere. But like, could you tell as much? Like, did it feel smoother? Or is it like so. slightly? I think really so. Like, okay. Yeah, it just, I was playing and I never noticed the time where I was like, stop. <laughs> if only it hadn't like felt funny when yeah, I was yeah. turning that one time or something. Every time I build a budget PC, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> did you just see that? <laughs> How did that happen? I caught the dude on fire and he like flipped his up. No, okay, that's gonna explode. That's gonna explode. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way that everything turned out. Hiram seems pretty excited about the new build and hopefully he'll get some good use out of it. He did decide to go with the GTX 980 uh, versus the RX 580 just because of the sound difference in the cards. So I think that will serve him well. Now the last thing to do is to figure out what to do with this computer. Like I said, I'm an indecisive person. I did decide on one thing though. I know I want to give this away, just not how. So I want your guys' help to figure out how we should give this away. Should we do a giveaway on the channel, give this PC away on the YouTube channel, or should we go ahead and post it on Facebook Marketplace or something like that, and then when somebody tries to pick it up, we'll just give it to them and say, uh, it's free, it's free. Or if you guys have other awesome ideas, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. I really want to know. So let me know what you think. And in the coming weeks, we'll figure out what to do with this PC. And we'll give it away. <laughs>